Viewers and subscribers, Spraga gone down at his home in Portland. Yeah, man. Gun man and come for Spraga and gun him down, ladies and gentlemen. We now hear the whole story right now. Tune to the channel. Portland, turn up right now. Crime scene, yellow tape. Viewers and sub. Spraga get gun shot. The killers they want him long time, man. It look like a long time, no more time, Peter. Let me know. You understand? Ooh, yeah. Uh huh. Bag of things, they have to make a statement If I know bag of things, Stevie, it don't make sense A bag of things, Stevie, I run things all the time Bag of things, they have to make a statement If I know bag of things, Stevie, it don't make sense A bag of things, Stevie, I run things all the time Bag of things, Stevie Yeah, man, a bag of things, Stevie, that TV, man See, a Portland man with police sources say Managed to survive at least four gun attacks on him. Was killed on Tuesday during a daring daylight shooting at his home in Fury Hill by unknown assailant. Four times them shoot him up in a shoot of time. Four times them attack him and not kill him. This a man that look like a boy. Him have nine life. I see there in three points run out upon him and now Spraga. You know? Spraga get attacked four times by criminals. If I'm me alone, you know, man. One time they attack me, they will never see me again. If they attack me, you know. I can't believe that Spraga stay there. I make the man attack him. Man, them. You don't the criminal them attack him four times. Seeing, I know him losing three points. Dead is Orlando. Orlando Loden. Alias Spraga of a Fairy Hill Gardens address in the parish. According to police, Spraga was at his home when about 10.30 a.m. Residents reportedly heard a barrage of load explosion and summoned the police them. On arrival of the police, his lifeless body was found lying on his veranda with what appeared to be gunshot wounds, multiple gunshot wounds to the chest and the face. Criminals them make sure say, no? then don't him, you know. The criminal him make sure say boy then done him in a real life. Cause I remember a four times then come for him, you know. And this a man that come like in guard up man in ring. This a man that over a chang no blood lead if he did have a ring. He look like in guard up seriously you know. Look like in the guard up wicked. You know? Cause if they come for him four times and then couldn't deal with him, then couldn't hurt him. See? Maybe say boy he look like in the guard up man. He goes a chang, you know. It look like Spraga goes a chunk to blow up, but he run out upon him. He need a service in ring, you know. Look like he need a service. And he run out upon him to blow up. He walk one now. He was later pronounced dead by a doctor. And the body was removed to a mug. Following the processing of the crime scene by the police. So the police then run down upon the scene. And I check out everything I know. You see me I say? Spraga killing come three months after he refused, he refuted a statement in court that he reportedly gave to detectives from the criminal investigation branch CIB in Port Antonio regarding injuries sustained in a gun attack in 2003 when he was allegedly shot five times. So he refuted the statement in court and said no, he never gets shot five times. He believes that, that was going to save him. It is understood that during the circuit court trial Spraga gave conflicting statement and also indicated to the then trial judge that he did not remember the details of the shooting. Neither was he able to identify the suspect who was on trial. Boom, but he make him get her free. And then now him on and come for him, see him where. Come for him still. Yo, I'm tell something, man. I'm going to go on a joke. If you end up in a court with somebody, just continue with the proceedings. Don't say boy, you're not know, gonna continue with it because the same man they might come come kill you. Me I send with this man in jail. Man, what me tell you? See that? And the same man them come for Spraga. You know? See a man them come for Spraga to blow out. The Portland police are investigating his shooting. And the same man them are in family them come for him. You know? Charge your boy, me I tell you now. Now watch this now. Five men arrested. Re 70 million cocaine bus in upper St. Tanjo and a jam down money me I talk about you know and a jam down money in a US dollar me I talk about you know 
75 million dollar us dollar god almighty what a whole of money as some serious dollars the man a police team from the firearms and narcotics investigation division within the counter-terrorism and organized crime investigation branch CTAC on Tuesday conducted an anti-narcotics operation at a location in Upper St. Andrew resulting in the arrest of five male Jamaican nationals and the seizure of significant quantity of substance believed to be the white powder I know you powder around the rubber pump on the chest you know I know Johnson and Johnson powder you know more I want to know that you know uh, the same white powder where I mash up the place, me, I tell you. We hold for money upon him, now I call his name still. Yeah, man, uh, the white powder, man. Ja, 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 ja. I don't know what I'm going on already. Jeez, I'm peace, man. The personnel from the FNID, with support from other units within CTAC, raided the premises and arrested five dirty niggas and seized a number of knitted bags believed to contain the same white powder. Jesus God, I know milk powder, I know Johnson Johnson powder, I know none of that. I the good, good powder, I don't know what I go on. The substance weighs 2,526 point four kilograms and has an estimated street value of 75,792. What are they? I'm not really so good. 75 million. Let me get the good car. When the thing say a little drop of money that. No man, I hold up money, man. 75 million, 792 thousand. The police said in a release on Wednesday. The contents of the knitted bags are being processed and further updates are to be provided. Added the police. What a whole heap of money, man. This constable said the operation further demonstrates its ongoing effort to combat narcotics and firearm trafficking in Jamaica. When you see the police are not taking the money, when you see the police, they must move real, real serious. The police, they must combat every, every area. I don't like them. Deserve a warm rounds of applaud. I see the police and the soldiers, them boy, them so outstanding. The gun, they must find. The drugs, they must come off the street. Dirty criminal I get picked up, man. Lord of God, I tell you, man. I keep singing to them. I sing it again, you know. The police, my police and my soldiers, them need a race. Mr. Commissioner of Police, the Prime Minister of Jamaica, Minister of this and Minister of that. I want to take note of this you now. I need my police and my soldiers, them, to get a race. I need the people that we are run information. The information providers, them, we are calling the police, them, and I call the station. I need the rewards where them get, the Crime Stop reward, to be boosted up. Need more money for run for the people them. We are run information for the police them. Saying, yeah man, quick, 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 quick. I'm going to change up the thing I know and increase certain good things. Because it work, I carry out. You understand? And the only thing I ask you for, I want to increase up the like on my channel right now. Bagger things made the TV. Touch up the like button, touch up the notification bell. Yeah man, subscribe button, see you here. I don't know anything already. I bugger things media, you know, man. Like and share and subscribe. I got things up, media up, TV, up, up, man. Up. Thank you for watching. Make sure you share it. Make sure you subscribe. Press that notification bell to stay updated, man. Jamaican assassin killing all names. Urban legend. Jackal out.